Peter has been with us on multiple occasions, right? He's doing some amazing work out in West Valley. As a matter of fact, check the link here. They're great videos. As a matter of fact, we had an innovation center video uh, that really just gives a good, great overview of the amazing work that's going on in West Valley School District. So, I mean, I know that this is maybe our fourth time actually uh, talking about the innovative initiatives, uh, but I got a I got two questions for you, man. You've been here, right? And you guys are doing some major work out in West Valley. As you begin to go to these sessions, man, what are some things you've learned in this, in, in this summit? Well, I really like how ASA is focused on systems thinking. Mm -hmm. We in West Valley were named a lighthouse system for early learning. Yeah. And in my work, I'm looking at systems from cradle to career. Mm -hmm. We need to connect our K-12 system mm -hmm. with the early learning system. We need to connect our K-12 system with the higher ed system. Yeah. And higher ed is more than just college. Mm -hmm. It's a registered apprenticeship that we have offering for our students where they can get on the job training yeah. and go right into the workplace and continue right. with higher education as their working on the job so systems thinking is so important and it's what our students need for the future I mean I, I love that systems thinking approach and I just like the word systems because you know West Valley is the one and only lighthouse district for early uh, learning right so I want to definitely man give you those accolades you guys are doing some amazing work this systems approach as far as early learning. Give me, give us, the, the community, the family out there, some great things that you believe are that foundation to become the one and only lighthouse district for early learning. I think it starts with relationships. So we have done this over time and we built relationships over time. So we know we know who the early learning providers are. We know who has a one room schoolhouse out there and we invite them in to be part of our learning community. We know who the Head Start director is and they're part of our leadership team. So it all starts with the relationships and from that solid base and foundation of relationships, then we can see good things happen when we come together, put our heads together on the thinking of what's the direction that we need to go. And then we're able to put action plans together and make it happen definitely definitely man last question man last question um, you got a lot of folks out there that are exhausted Peter right they're like listen man I have been through two years of just you know just stabilizing as they begin to get ready for a new year I mean, if you could give them maybe a strategy some things that you guys are doing to get ready for this new school year what would they be well I think actually the work is energizing when you come together and you're working together you actually have this synergy that happens mm -hmm. where you're seeing success happen and then that builds on success. So when you have a community working together and have teamwork, mm -hmm. I think it's energizing. So yes, we've been through a lot, but to me, the work is energizing because we're working together for a common goal. Definitely. Hey, you guys, I always say it, you know, Peter, Peter uh, and his entire team, they're doing some amazing work, not just early learning, but when you're talking about future focus, right? You know, Peter, it's almost like when in, in West Valley, they think of like five ways to solve a problem and they push their mind and push and push and push until they get to something that's extremely innovative, right? I remember our first conversation about the Innovation Center, right? And you talked to me about the work that you're doing and you started and you're like, okay, but next year I'm gonna do this and then next year I'm gonna do that. Tell us a little bit about the Innovation Center. Where is it in your mind? And then where do you want it to be? Well, I think that we're able to be innovative because we're not so insular. Mm -hmm. We're open to hearing ideas from our community and then also through our networks across the nation. And so in our innovation center this year, we had cohorts and pathways for computer science, health science and STEM engineering. And next year we're opening another pathway of robotics and agri-science. We decided on robotics agri-science because we listened to our community and what the needs are. And in agri-science, everything is becoming automated and that's the future for our students. And we're gonna be preparing kids to, to excel in that future. Definitely. Hey, Peter, brother, I appreciate you, man. You know, I think this is our fifth time uh, <laughs> coming together to really talk about future focused education. Folks, hit us up in the link. If you if you want to know more about what's going on in West Valley, uh, uh, more about early learning, uh, more about Innovation Center, hit us up in the link. I want to connect you all with Peter. They're doing some amazing work out there. You got a future focused thinkers really taking the opportunity and the time to be innovative. A lot of the times we don't even take time to talk innovation. 
And as we're talking as leaders across the country, you know, we, we can find time to talk about buses. We can find time to talk about lunches. We can find time to talk about a rival lunch and dismissal and instructional leadership. But when do we take the time to truly talk about innovation and what we're doing to be future focused? So if you want to you get some great strategies, folks, click on that link, all right? Peter, again, brother. <laughs> Let them know, man. Hey, man, I appreciate it, bro. There you go. There you go, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much, man. <laughs>